Yo, what's going on out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online video. Today's a little bit different. We actually have the, probably the best RP glitch I have ever seen and ever done in this game, period, all right? No lie, you will gain, I mean, you can gain 40, 50, 60 levels a day depending on what rank you are. Uh, let's put it this way, on this PS4 account that I was on, and by the way, this works on Xbox and PS4, completely AFK as well and solo. Uh, you basically I was ranked 61 at the time when I first discovered this glitch I ran this glitch maybe six to eight hours a day for three days It was like Friday Saturday and Sunday and by Sunday night. I was already ranked 231 I believe so you do the math from 61 to 231 in Three days six to eight hours each day. I was running that and remember AFK completely. Okay, so it's pretty dope. Founders are CBD420 and Native Pride 1988. Now, what you're gonna need is you need an Avenger, and you don't want to own a a hangar at the military base. You don't want one there, so you want to buy a hangar at Los Santos Airport if you have one. If you don't have one already, but yeah, so this is the area right here where the military base is. Uh, you don't want a hangar there, remember, because you need the cops to be able to get on you. So. Apart from that, apart from having the Avenger and then a hangar that's not in the military base, uh, you want to throw yourself in an invite-only session, remember, completely solo, and uh, Xbox and PS4. What you're going to need is you need a hair tie or headphone cords, a pin or a small piece of cardboard. Uh, and basically what you're doing is you're tying your left stick, your left analog stick, basically to the left and, uh, you know, pointing to the left and maybe even a little bit up and left. And you want to be holding down the X button on PlayStation or the A button on Xbox. Uh, you want to be holding that down. You can do that with either a hair tie, uh, maybe a piece of tape could work also, uh, or a pin. Uh, and I'll explain pretty much how to do that once we get to that point. But at first, this is basically the location where you want to be parking your Avenger. So you want it to be right at this point where uh, that little cube is kind of down there. And that little cube needs to be below the right wing closer to the propeller I would say now once you've done that all you got to do is if you notice I got RP right there you get like six or eight hundred RP I forgot which one it is but it's six or eight hundred RP every time for going in and out you see when we come out we get the cops on us but look if this happens to you right here when you exit your Avenger if all of a sudden look at that I spawned outside the military base if that happens to you you probably need to change sessions because this was happening to me when I went to go first attempt the glitch to do this video and at that point, like I even tried again and it just wasn't working. I'm going to show you what happens right now when I go to actually try again. I'm just pretty much skipping forward to when I got back in it. So I'm going to go ahead and get back in the Avenger. And once I'm in there, I'm just going to simply turn out. Now, you see right here with the left analog stick, you turn it to the left and then you're pressing X or A to exit the Avenger. But you see, I'm spawning over here now. You don't want to spawn there. You want to be spawning really close to that blue circle. So like I said, if this keeps happening to you, just change sessions. What I actually ended up doing was I closed the game completely and I reset my catch. Okay, on Xbox, you got to you gotta do a little... I'll leave a video on how to reset catch. I actually have a video on that that I made previously. So I'll, uh, yeah, I'll leave that in the pinned comment as well. But if you really need to, go ahead and reset your catch. And, uh, and yeah, and then go ahead and go into a new invite only session and try again. Or you can just jump into a new invite only session from there. Either one should work, okay? I reset catch and that worked for me. So this is where I did get it to work. So check out the placement of where I'm actually gonna go ahead and park the Avenger. Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go into slow-mo here real quick so that I can show you guys the exact positioning so you guys aren't missing anything. Remember, once I park down, uh, if you want to freeze it right there, go ahead. But like I said, you want to, the the nose of the airplane or helicopter, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> is, uh, is basically pointing at that little solid yellow line right there, okay? You want it to be pointing almost right there. Uh, it can, it doesn't have to roughly be like, you know, exactly pointing at it, but it needs to be around that area. And then your right helicopter or your right uh, blade, you want that to be pretty much right over that um, that little cube that's there on the ground. It could be a little bit to the right of it, but you want it to be almost right over it. So if you see right here, this is actually my placement where I ended up keeping it right there. So if you wanted to freeze the, freeze the video right there, that was the time to do it. So right when I parked it, you know, at this at this very point, I'm going to go ahead and you see the military is coming after me already. So right when I go in here, I'm actually going to go ahead and get the RP really easily. 
So at this point right now, uh, once I finally load in there, it takes a little bit at first sometimes. This is where you hold the left analog stick and then you hold the left analog stick and you hold your X or A button. Okay, and that's what's gonna allow you to run and then exit the Avenger. You see, and if you're spawning like this, you see that? He does a circle, and that circle is what's gonna get you the RP every time. So he's gonna get stars on him, you see that? My RP is already going up, he's gonna get stars, go in there, lose the stars, gain the RP. Go back outside, and it's just a revolving thing from there on. Okay, so this is how I set up my analog stick. Now, I got like a book uh, that was kind of the same height as the PS4 or Xbox controller, and what I did was I tied some headphones, I have some Apple headphones, and I actually tied that around the left stick, and I just pulled it to the left, basically, uh, so that it was just, you know, full pressure all the way to the left, and then I put, like, my iPad or something like that on top of it just for a little bit of weight on top of the actual cord. So it was holding it to the left. Now for the X or A button, you can do a few things. You can, uh, on the PS4, I was actually able to tie a hair tie around the right side of the controller and I was actually able to hold the X button down just with a hair tie. Uh, you can also get a pin, like a hair pin or something like that, or uh, you know, a pin, the pin in the wall, things like that. Something that'll fit into the edge of the actual button and the controller. And you push that down and then you just stick a pin right in that little circular edge area right there. And you can actually get it pinned down like that. Uh, I would be very careful when using a pin because there is a circuit board right under that controller. So use that under your own caution. I am not going to recommend that you use a pin because you really could mess up your controller and you're out 50 bucks right there. So I don't recommend a pin. Probably the safest thing to do, uh, my friend Lost, he actually got his cigarette cartridge, the actual pack, and he just, he just ripped off a little piece of that. So it's like hard cardboard basically. And he actually stuck that into the edge to actually hold down his X button and his A button on the Xbox and the PlayStation so you can do it that way but basically you just want to be pointing your left stick to the left maybe even a little bit up it depends on your positioning when you're spawning outside and holding down the X or A button and that's it you guys leave this going for a while and you'll be good now if you're spawning outside or you get killed or anything like that you just have to switch sessions uh, after a while I know on PS4 for sure after like eight hours of running this the second you try to press pause or go into a new session you're actually gonna get blue screened right away so that will happen at times, all right? But trust me, this is an awesome RP glitch. Take advantage of it while we still have it. Probably the best RP glitch we've ever freaking had in this game. No lie, I endorse the hell out of this glitch. Shout out to the founders once again. You will rank up like crazy doing this glitch, okay? But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for me, guys. My name's Roll Easy. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. If you did, make sure to subscribe by pressing that big red button. If you're brand new, turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 25,000 subs. Peace out.